Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's um, video we're going to be taking a look at Studio Series number 67, Voyager Class Constructicon Skipjack. Now this figure has been a figure that I've been waiting for a long time ever since Studio Series Devastator has uh, was released and you had to get every individual Constructicon. Um, individually and you only had Rampage and not a yellow foot for, for Skipjack. Well, I am really glad that Hasbro did make Skipjack for, for um, to, to combine Devastator um, in a more accurate look because before they had to use Rampage and then now um, now um, now Skipjack and it looks way more accurate than Rampage. Although they are both constructed guns, you have a choice either Rampage or Skipjack. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Skipjack, some of the features on him. Uh, then we're going to do some nice comparisons, take a look at the box, and then transform. So now let's get started on looking at some of the fe features that the, on Skipjack that are actually quite amazing. Now bringing over here um, his body, we can see that there that it is very detailed. All the all the um, wiring on the leg, on the well, the whole body right here is very detailed. Um, he does come with two steam vents, which actually do act as blasters. And I really wish um, they would make an upgrade kit so that so that um, he could have more accurate blasters, like shown in the film. Although this is just a rampage remold, I'm pretty sure um, the same accessories for rampage would apply to skipjack as well. So I really wish they would have um, added accurate blasters, which these are, are in fact like some steam vents that come out of the tractor mode, which I'll show you in a bit later on in the review. The hands do look amazing connected to the steam vent slash blaster the little hands right here and um, like it's only three fingers right here but it does look nice the 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 what's it called the um the thing that goes on the bottom of the tractor the rails um they do they do uh, have the a capability to to bend in all sorts of directions so you could have him in any direction you want to make it look like skipjack is um looks like he's gonna um, drill through the dirt or something you could have it in any position or one that's just laying down like so you could have it in any position you want right here uh i'm not so sure if this is really that much accurate in the film or the back part which is actually i i think it's kind of inaccurate because in the film this back part actually is actually these pieces right here in the film so honestly that is one one thing that i did not like with this figure but other than that it's a great figure and everything the head sculpt on this figure is the same we do get for studio series number number 37 voyager class rampage constructed on rampage this is just an uh, just a remold of Rampage and and just painted in yellow. And one thing I did really like right here is that it says "Warning: Keep Clear." Like some some minor, tiny little paint applications right there, which I honestly I didn't really see them in the film, but I do like that Hasbro did incorporate them on the on the figure itself. And one thing that did kind of bum me out is that the it cannot bend like an elbow or like other Transformers. It cannot bend. It could only go like this kind of like it there's no elbow elbow joint to um to fold it or anything that is just one thing that did disappoint me about this figure other than that a great figure i do recommend this figure you can pick them up at, at target if you can still find them because right now currently in 2021 we are currently right now i believe in april i don't think you're going to be able to find them that much if you are um wow yay you could find them but but i don't think you can find them that much in and now in 2021, you can get them on Hasbro Poles, Amazon, or any other retailer. Um, but I don't think you could get them uh, in store that much anymore. If you can find them, that, that's great. You can find them and everything. But I, I do recommend if you cannot find them, just get them online. He is only about $30, $30. That's his MSRP price. They're $29.99, about $30. Um, I do recommend this figure as it does trans. It does combine with the rest of the Constructicons and is a more accurate leg for Devastator. Also, this figure is actually um, one of the one of the best Constructicons and and is actually pretty accurate to the film. And he, although we never saw Skipjack in his robot form, we did see Rampage. I think that uh, Skipjack looks amazing in both a robot car form and Devastator Devastator leg form. So without further ado, let's start some size comparisons between Skipjack and some other Constructicons and other Transformer characters. So here we have Studio Series number 60, Voyager Class um, Scrapper. Now we can see that there is a a, um, a bit of a size difference between Scrapper and Skipjack. The Scrapper is a bit taller than Skipjack, but one thing that is nice about Skipjack 
is that you can adjust his height to any height that you want. You could adjust it to, to, to be like tall like this, or the short version where you saw where, where if you put him tall, um, you can see that he is about nearly, nearly up, uh, a bit taller than than Scrapper, but, but um, I would prefer him to. I would prefer to have him like this, which actually gives a more accurate movie appearance. Um, I would, I put him like that. And one thing that I did not like is that you gotta position him in many ways just to keep balance and you cannot keep him in balance for like a while so that is just one thing i did not like about skipjack um scrapper and skipjack they um they look amazing of how how they how the um, scale looks nice to the transformers revenge of the fallen universe although i feel like uh, um on devastator the head is a bit too small and i feel like um, they could they, the devastator figure itself should be bigger and not not the size that it is and I will I will bring him later on in the review now um, For our next size comparison here. We have Studio series number 53 Voyager class mixmaster and I believe this scales really nice of how mixmaster and skipjack do look like in um, the the film revenge of the fallen how this scales nice just for a quick size comparison we can see skipjack is taller than mixmaster mixmaster you could uh, position him in any any way you want uh, but I think this scales really nice to how how uh, mixmaster and skipjack do look like in the transformers movie universe and and also if you do have the rest of the constructicons you can combine all 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 eight of them to form the mighty constructicon devastator and now uh, without further ado let's go to our next size comparison which will be studio series number fi um, 74 um deluxe class bumble uh, revenge of the fallen bumblebee and now the reason i brought bumblebee is because um since like i said before skipjack is a rampage but a remold and a repaint um and well, Bumblebee did fight Rampage in the film, so if you never got to get a hold of Rampage like like I did, you can recreate iconic movie scenes with um, 74 Bumblebee and Skipjack if you want. But for a more accurate movie appearance, I would totally use Rampage. So if you want to create an accurate movie appearance where Bumblebee is grabbing on Skipjack on Rampage's um, arms, I recommend making that scene. But unfortunately, like I said. Uh, I do not have rampage, or and that um, Skipjack's arms do not bend like in, like like in the movie or anything. So that is just one reason why why um why I just brought this figure out and everything. And now, with, without further ado, let's take a look at our final size comparison, which will be Studio Series number sixty nine Titan Class Devastator. Well, not a Titan Class, but like a big Transformer. Um. Well, the reason I brought him in, let's just move him on uh, to the center of the screen. Um, the reason I brought Devastator in is because since one of his legs is Skipjack, I just wanted to size compare how how the leg of Devastator, the Skipjack leg of Devastator, looks to the ro robot mode of Skipjack. I just wanted to compare, as I will not be showing the the whole Devastator bot, the whole Devastator body. I'm just showing like the the size comparison between uh, Devastator and Skipjack. So that that concludes our size comparison. Now, now let's take a look at some of the bo box art and and the features on Skipjack's box. So here we have Studio Series Skipjack's box. Now, personally, I think the box, the CGI on the box, is really nice. As I said before, it is a Rampage repaint. So if you do have Rampage, you can notice the CGI is the same as Rampage, but painted in yellow. Um, I do really like the orange eyes, and like I said, the the, the figure itself cannot bend the the elbows or anything. Um, um, that I really wish that it did that they did like the CGI shows right here. Um, it looks completely accurate to the toy. Um, right here for a closer look, we can see Skipjack's head. Right here with the nice orange eyes, Studio Series number 67, Voyager class. And right here is the details of the box. We can see some nice product shots of both Skipjack in both his robot and his car, his um, his vehicle and robot form. We can see um, that he transforms his 27 steps from robot to tractor. I believe that is a tractor. Um, the that. The Desert Sands Quake as Constructicon Skipjack combines with his comrades to form Constructicon Devastator. Now, if you do remember in the film, um, the tra the Constructicons did combine to create Devastator and his giant giant um, vortex sucking um, 
this giant vortex, um, sucking giant, whatever. So, um, the constructed guns combine to make Devastator in the film. So you can do that. You could do stop motions with this figure and everything. Now, the final side of the packaging, like as always with other other constructed con boxes and figures, they do come with one side with the with the CGI, one side with um the Devastator box art, box art. and personally I think it's nice uh, how it looks like and now taking a closer look at the at the box art we can see it it is the same pyramid desert battle that we do see in the in the film and just for a little closer look right here you can post skip check in many ways right here on the box art so so that that is nice so now let's get to the transformation process so now let's get to the transformation process. Now the tra the transformation is pretty simple, and I will show you in a bit. Um, and honestly, I think it's one of the easiest constructed con transformations that there is, as I have transformed nearly all the constructed cons. I I personally think that High Tower and Skipjack have the easiest transformation process. So without further ado, let, let's transform Skipjack. Now let's bring him over here. Um, the first thing you're gonna have to do is simply if you do have these attached. Um, um, just detach them. They are in a tab right here. Just detach them from the slot, and then after that, I recommend putting them right here for 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 a safe for safekeeping for now. And that's actually where they go. So you do the same process for to the other side, and there. So after that, strain out your figures. Just make sure it's all straight and everything. After that, this holder piece right here, detach it right now. Um, just. Just leave this piece to the side for now, and after that, this little piece that that looks like a drill, like he was gonna drill into the ground or something. Simply, you're just gonna have to put it inside like that. After that, you're gonna have to make sure his head is all the way up like that, and make sure straighten this out, and then turn it over like this. So now we're basically nearly seeing how his car form look, how his vehicle form looks like. Most of the transformation applies to the, mostly to the arms. Most of it applies to the arms and toward the, um, toward, like, yeah, mostly toward the arms, but, but the body, um, yeah, kind of the body, but most, most of it is toward the arms. So now, after that, you're gonna have to click this finger inside. After this, you're gonna do the same process to that side. And then unfold this piece right here and then simply just pop it in that tab. So there is a little tab right here and a slot that's over here. So you're just going to have to push it inside there. Make sure it aligns perfectly like so. Make sure it aligns properly inside the little slot right there. And after that, this little, these little um, skinny tabs right here, you're going to have to slight, slightly put them inside here. Just put them, just push them in right here like so. And then, and then after that, you're gonna have to put this um, um, set of rails down, and then simply just make sure everything is pegged in. Just make sure every single piece is pegged in like that. So, so just for a quick comparison, here we have him in his in his um, in his tractor form, and then now here we have him. Uh, I mean, like half of his tractor form, how it how it look like at the end. And then now, now we're and now the hands currently right now how it looks like. So now let's we're gonna have to do the same process to the other hand. So simply just put this finger down like that. Just push it, push it inside right there. Put the finger inside there. And then after that, you're gonna do the same thing to the other finger and then put, um, tap it out like that. And then after that, uh, unflip this piece. Fold in the tiny little tip of his finger right there. And then make sure that these pieces are folded down like that. Make sure that these pieces do connect, do the same process you did to the other arm right there. Push it in right there. And there you have Skipjack fully transformed into his robot form. Now, personally, I think that the robot form is nice. And now, for the last piece, this piece, his um, little, um, what's it called, his placeholder. You're simply going to have to do this, uh, unclip these pieces right here. <clears throat> Sorry, and then after that, you're gonna have to um, make sure that the piece with the circular tab is facing towards Skipjack. Then after that, you're gonna have to simply pop pop, pop it in right there, and then after that, push these pieces back down. Make sure that they do click and everything. Make sure these wheels do pop out. So I do recommend that you do to um, make sure make sure that they are popping out like that. And then after that, the last step is push this little piece down. And then this will stand in as a wheel. 
So now you have Skipjack fully transformed into his robot form. And now personally, I think his robot form looks amazing of how Hasbro has done this. Um, um, uh, um, some areas of critique that I do have is that um, I really wish that the like I on near the armpits how they said warning um keep clear I wish they would have put more paint applications on on the back on the back or anywhere that said like more like high voltage and stuff like that some some cool stuff right there um that would have made this figure even look way better than how he looks like now so that was um how you transform skipjack into his into his robot form and like our other constructed com videos like I only did um um robot to to car. But, but now I'm going to change it up this time, and now I'm going to show you how to transform him into his Devastator leg mode. So, simply what you're going to have to do is simply unclip these pieces right here, take this piece off right there, just fold these pieces back in, separate his, his arms from his body right there, just make sure that unclips right there, just make sure it unclips, fold it out like that. After this, fold out this piece right here. You're gonna have to make sure that it does uh, it does look like this. Make sure it does look like that. After that, um, a lot of work is gonna be applied to the arms. So simply, you're gonna have to um, um, untransform the arms right here. And then after that, you're gonna have to flip this piece over like that. Make sure this piece is pointed down first. So unflip, unflip it like this. Flip this piece over like that. And then and then put that piece back in. And then this piece you're gonna have to um push it in like that. And make sure that it does eventually look like that. This piece you're gonna have to reconnect it like that. And then this piece you're gonna have to reconnect it like so. Just push it in right there. Push it in right there, and then there. Now the, the 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 last finger you're gonna have to put, pop in the finger right there. Just push it in right there, and then do the same process you did to the first side to the other side. So uh, unfold that finger, take that finger out of there, and then um, take this little piece out. That finger unfold it as well, and then now this you're gonna have to rotate, flip it, flip this um piece around like that, Ro rotate it like um like that. And after that, you're going to have to connect them together. Like so, just pop them in like that. Then you're going to have to put this finger down here on that tab. Then you're going to do the same process to the other side right here. And then put, 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 the, put this piece inside like that. And then now you have the legs ready and then just tab in everything. Make sure this does connect like the other foot did. And then just have it like this. And now you have... Skipjack in his Devastator alternate mode. Now, I think that the alternate mode for the Devastator leg does look nice. And if you do have Studio Series overload like I do, I recommend that you do connect it connect it right there um, to Skipjack leg. So, that about concludes our, our Transformer Skipjack video. I really hope you enjoyed this video about Skipjack. And, oh, and this last piece, you have the option to put it in Skipjack's legs or on Overload. I'll show you how to do it when I do my Overload review. So, that can about concludes our video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a nice comment. Until then, I will see you at our next Transformer Studio Series review. Until then, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and goodbye.